Oh my god. 46 in a row. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. And uh, honestly, I'm just ready to get another Eden run in the books. It's the only video I'm recording today, so I'm hoping it's going to be a decent one. It's Red Stew. It's an interesting item to start with because it's one of those items. It's an item that basically goes away. I don't know how to feel about starting with Red Stew because it does go away, actually. It's, it's an item that uh, only is with us for about the first floor. It's an interesting... That's an interesting situation to have been in because I don't... I mean, we get a tears up right off the bat, so we're at six tears, which is huge. Wait, are we actually going to be... What's, a, what's our damage going to be at? I don't know how much it actually gives you. How much damage does... If our damage is, like, above four, I will lose my shit. We have a... Oh my god. I should not have gone in there. We just lost, almost lost the streak because I did not pay attention to our HP. And we get 2020. Alright, so we basically already won the run. Uh, now if our damage is, like, three, I'll be happy. Is it plus ten damage? There's no way that we have six damage. I kind of just want to wait. No, it's it's gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going. All right, yeah, it's 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 it's. Uh, three point three five. All right, so we are below average on the HP front, but we are twenty twenty. Uh, with a six tier rate, so I feel like I'm okay with the three point three five damage. This is insane. Holy Christ. Yeah, I'm a little I'm I'm still a bit cheesed that we started with the the red stew because red stew basically is well, There you go. Anne and I can see forever. Okay. Well, there you go. Is that another tears up? No, it's explosive diarrhea. That's another tears up though. No, it's not. There's a hematemesis. That's fine. Hematemesis. However the hell you want to pronounce it. Hematemesis. 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 There's all kinds of different ways to pronounce that word. Uh, yeah, I also realize that we have Pulse Worm, which is hilarious, because I do love me a Pulse Worm. I did not realize that right away, but... We are... Fox News, we are Wisconsin. You know the... You know the deal. This Dumpy can basically go to hell and die. As soon as he possibly wishes to. There we go. Oh, this is like a really good run. This is a really good run to give me... A positive push into tomorrow because I have a long weekend ahead of me I've had like a long week honestly like this week has been absolute dog shit it has been incredibly stressful <laughs> it's been absolute absolute horse cock has been this week so far and it's not over yet I actually work tomorrow which is a Saturday and then I work Sunday uh, but then I get off Monday because Monday's Memorial Day dating the video a little bit probably not really because it's only like two days out of upload I think but anyway yeah the uh I get Monday off for Memorial Day I do have the option to work but they wouldn't let me because it would be triple time essentially I mean it would basically be triple time because I'd be getting double time for the holiday but I'd also still be getting holiday pay for being a volunteer worker so I'd basically be making triple what I would normally make which for those that don't know how math works that's a lot of fucking money that's a lot of money so I'm a bit bummed out that they didn't uh, let me work it. Let me work it, put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Uh, but yeah, I'm, it's a bit shitty that I wasn't able to work it, but I do get that. It's weird because it's, it's, it's less weird. Or, I mean, it's not less weird. It's more weird because of the fact that I get off Monday for a holiday. Then I go back Tuesday, Wednesday, and I got vacation Thursday, Friday. So I'll have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I get the Book of Tears, which doesn't do anything with us. It's strange, but we are going to actually keep Hedda Krampus for more than... Well, never mind. Well, yeah. We'll take Uppy's Paw. It's better than Hedda Krampus. 
let's face it, it's better than Hedekrampus. It's going to turn our hearts into hearts. Living La Vida Loca. Do you know that Backstreet Boys has a new song out? And it's actually not terrible. It's actually not awful. Dude, Abaddon. Absolutely. And then we're going to get HP on the next floor, which is, like, just... Good lord, this run. Like, after suffering, and I will use the word suffering, after suffering through that last, like, episode 103, we're just going to call it. Episode 103. After suffering through episode 103... The game has given me two very stupendous runs in a row. This run and the last run are just on another level of impossibly good. And it's just the way game's way of apologizing, honestly. This is just RNGs is just making up for the fact that he made me... He basically, Ghosty in the comments said probably the most accurate thing about the episode. He said, this is the most abusive run I've ever seen. The game actively was trying to hurt me. And I didn't let it win. I won because, I don't know if you know this, I'm actually fucking good at the game. I don't want to sit here and brag. I'm not a bragger. I don't want to brag. But, like, if I couldn't if I couldn't win that run, if I had just thrown in the towel and given up, like, 95% of other Isaac players or streamers or YouTubers or what have you, they would have thrown in the towel. I don't do that. I'm not going to throw in the towel on that run. Why? Because I have a freak, I have a freaking streak to win. All right, I have a streak to win. I'm not letting the game beat me. I'm not letting it push me down into the ground like some P.O.D. song. I'm not going to let it push me into the dirt. That's not P.O.D. That's like Flyleaf or is that Paramore? I'm not sure. Face Down is Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. That's who it is. They're all the same band anyway. It's all that post-punk nonsense. Anyway, it's not post-punk. I'm just trying to trigger the people in the comments. Uh, but no, that, that, that I'm not going to let it take me alive. All right, this is my streak. I have pride in the fact that I'm on this streak. Not only did I stomp the shit out of Jonas Fatson's victory and his streak, and him and Jonas, or him and Alexa, are both still trying to even remotely come close to where I'm at. And granted, Alexa's been doing it with some uh, some other mods on, which, uh, depending on who you ask, makes the game easier, makes the game harder. I don't really care. It's not really my problem because, hell, I've got mods on right now. Not on this streak, on my, my, my random streak on the uh, Afterbirth Plus series. I, I thought about that for a second, I was like, wait a second, no, they might be confused. No, the Antiburst series doesn't have, like, actual mods on, aside from the fact that, depending on who you ask, Antiburth is a mod, it's not a mod. It is a fan game, if anything. And I wouldn't even, I would hesitate to even call it that. I would call Antiburth a community expansion. <laughs> like, the fact that... The content that was added in Antibirth is almost as much, if not maybe more content than what was added in Afterbirth. Definitely more items. Uh, I mean, like, Antibirth is massive. And it's not even done yet. Which is the best part about it. It's not even done yet. Let's take Pandora's box. It's more fun than the paw. Probably gonna get rid of this red heart for a devil deal anyway. With that 78% chance potentially to be going up here soon. I could see forever again. Pillpool, you're too good to me. Uh, but yeah, I just with the uh, random streak I got going on after Birth Plus, I got mods on. They're not they're not like drastic mods. They're gonna make the game easier. They're just mods that I enjoy playing because without them, the game is kind of boring, and samey, and Honestly, ugly. A lot of my mods I have are cosmetic mods that make the game look better because, let's face it, Isaac, Afterbirth Plus, sprites and shit are not exactly good. They're not exactly good. Like, I love Ed. I love the people in Nicalis. I love them for giving us this beautiful game. This beautiful, beautiful game. But they, their sprite work is, uh, is not good. Ugh, took him fucking a year and a half or a year, almost a year and a half actually, to fix Conehead. I mean, Christ, are you gonna let mod de developers cr fix that shit for you? Come on, guys. Show some pride in your work. Anyway. Puberty's not very bad. Not very good, I mean. Not very good. 95%. See, that's what I was telling you about. Potential to go up on that devil deal. 
which just goes to show that I know exactly what I'm doing. I don't actually. Oh god, I almost got hit there. You wouldn't have forgiven me for that one. Hell, I wouldn't have forgiven me for that one. The boss is up top, so I'm gonna go left for our item room. And... I don't know. So, this Eden Streak, another DDL run. This Eden Streak holds a little bit more for me, just because I want that curse item. Uh, holds a little bit more for me, because personally speaking, I'm playing the harder version of the game. And I'm not saying that their streaks are not, they don't qualify because, ooh, they're not playing a harder version of the game. You have to, for every two, for every run that I win, you have to win five. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I think the people of the internet would agree with me when I say that my streak is a little bit more impressive because anti-birth, granted I'm not doing all the alt floors and shit, anti-birth is a bitch. Like, even just the fact that devil deals work the way they do in anti-birth is a bitch compared to afterbirth plus, where you can basically cheat devil deals. You can just you can just steal items basically. And again, I'm not saying that their streak is not valid. I'm just saying that mine's a little more impressive. That's all I'm saying. Is our seed seriously LGBT? Or is it LG eight T? Oh my god. LGBT. Well, LG18, but it's the LGBT run. Kappa Pride. Get some Kappa Prides in the comment section. This seed supports the LGBT. Technically, LGBTQ movement now? I don't keep track of the acronym, honestly. It's getting a little too big for my tastes. It used to just be lesbians and gays. And I support the shit out of them. I support everybody. There's not a damn person probably on this planet that I wouldn't support with good reason. But, like, you gotta add so many more words to that shit. Soon it's gonna be the entire alphabet. I don't have time for the alphabet, guys. I love you. You know, marry who you want to marry. Love who you want to love. As long as you spread the love and you don't, you don't hurt anyone. Unjustly. I'm okay with it. But, just Christ. Could you give us less words? It's hard for me to remember. I'm an idiot. I'm an internet person. I don't have time for these letters. One of my friends is 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 a female who likes the same sex. Now, in in the nomenclature of this, you would say she's a lesbian. Well, I've always called her just gay. And she doesn't have a problem with that, but she used to. She used to be so st stuck up about it. She's like, I'm not gay. I'm a lesbian. Well, like, it's the same thing. And I'm not trying to, like, sound like an ignorant bigot or anything. It's just the same thing. It's fundamentally is the same thing. The, the, the term gay, well, when referring to homosexuality, the term gay is a reference to being attracted to and or preferring one's own sex, one's own gender. And I'm not making this a political episode. This is going to be wrapped up real quickly, but no matter if you're a cat, if you're a cat and you like other male cats, you're a gay cat. Lesbian's just a word for female gay people. Just like bisexual is for people who prefer both sexes. And so on and so forth. Anyway, that's enough of that. I don't need to turn this into some Rochambeau rock, paper, scissors nonsense. It doesn't matter where you plug your phone in as long as your phone has a fast charger. That's all I'm saying. You could have given me Guppy right there, though. You me guppy in here. So where am I taking? Oh, uh, ah, I knew that was gonna hit me. Where am I taking? There's a tinted rock in there as well. Where am I taking the Pandora's box? I mean, I'm taking it to the uh, cathedral. Mostly because of the ideal angel item being a sacred heart. 
don't know if this is going to be uploaded before the video, but if it isn't uploaded before the video, spoilers, Sacred Heart does make an appearance in a Isaac video that I recorded. Shit. I'm so excited for the deck of Isaac 2.0. I'm so excited to see what people think of it. Lots of troubleshooting and shit that I gotta do with it because it is a work in progress. As with most things. Hell, even the deck of Isaac, as polished as it seemed, because, well, to be honest, <laughs> get that dirt off my shoulders, it is a very polished, finished product. Um, but I wanted to do more with it because the original idea for the deck of Isaac was... Uh, I don't know you guys will give a shit about this, but the original idea for the deck of Isaac was to just be a, you know, a one-up. You know, I was going to be like, oh, well, I mean, I can do this better than you, kind of thing. But I had this idea of doing something really crazy and cool with it, and I kind of just got lazy, because I was like, I mean, I didn't have time. And then I was just like, ah, I was just, just freaking, we'll just make the decks, we'll make the table, we'll make this stuff, which, granted, it took a lot of time. Uh, we'll make this, we'll make that, we'll make the other thing, and then, uh, we'll release it. We'll make a video, we'll release it, we'll do all that kind of fun stuff, uh, just to kind of showcase that I could do it better than Mr. Alexa. Mm. Drink him a beverage. But then, like two weeks ago, oh, this is so slow and anti-birth, about two weeks ago, I started working on some other stuff. For the deck of Isaac, and I was going to do a massive uh, major update for it, which is the first major update of the deck, uh, of hopefully many to come as well. I plan on, you know, adding more stuff to it, kind of treating it like my own little, you know, pseudo DLC slash mod of the game, because let's face it, it kind of is a mod for Isaac. It is a mod for Isaac that doesn't exist on the Steam Isaac Workshop because, well, before Afterbirth Plus, mods didn't exist on the Steam Afterbirth Plus mod, or Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus mod workshop. They existed on like modding of Isaac and Dropbox and shit like that. So, you know what? I'll be stuck up and you know stubborn and pig-headed enough to say yes. The fucking deck of Isaac is an Isaac mod. Shove off, you pretentious nerds. Uh, but yeah. I... I want to keep updating it. I want to keep adding stuff and changing stuff and, you know, adjusting things and maybe down the line releasing, you know, a choice. Kind of like other games like that on the, on the workshop. Oh, definitely. Yes, I will take bombs or key. Dead Onion is incredible. Dead Onion is incredible. I love Dead Onion with a with a with a burning, fiery, sexy passion. It is piercing, spectral. It is one of my favorite items in the game. It is one of the most underrated items in the game, I feel. But yeah, the Deck of Isaac 2.0 coming out soon, hopefully depending on how many uh, issues I see with it or balance changes I have to make, because I am working on it kind of like a person works on a goddamn mod, and it feels like I'm a goddamn game developer searching for bugs and rebalancing shit. And balancing shit ain't fun, man. Balancing shit ain't fun, let's be honest. I've done some some subtle game development before in my life. I've done some like indie projects and shit like that before. This shit's not fun. Especially when you're dealing with, like, basically... As much as I hate to admit it, the life one of one of the two games that are like the lifeblood of your channel. Like when you're messing with the deck of Isaac, which is essentially like one of the main reasons people know I exist on the internet is because of Isaac or Hollow Knight or Terraria or stuff like that. When you mess with that, people get a little touchy. And that's fine. You can get touchy all you want. I sometimes enjoy touchy. Shit, my nose itches. But, I don't know. There's always going to be the opportunity for people to change it back if they don't like it. I have to sneeze!
Holy shit. Holy shit. And then there were like three more. There was like 26 sneezes, and there may even be more. Holy Christ. <laughs> there was no time to mute for that one. Or this one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's the change of seasons, man. I already have like shitty allergies. And I know, Penta, go see an allergist. I don't want to go see an allergist. They make you spend $18 billion and shove pills in your nose. I'm not doing it. I'd rather just sneeze like four billion times a day. I don't want to put pills in my nose. There's another sneeze coming. I tried to hold that one in. I tried to hold that one in because I was afraid Gish was going to jump on me. Oh, that was not a good idea. Don't hold in sneezes, man. Oh, now I've clogged myself. I only like Dutch clogs. I don't like American clogs. Oh, that's right, this is classic boss rush. Man, switching from... It might not seem like it's that big of a deal, but good God, switching from Afterbirth to Afterbirth Pluses, or Antibirth to Afterbirth Plus is fucking confusing as shit, man. It's like real confusing. Here's the horseman. Here's death. Death is gonna be iron unironically dead. You actually hit me. I'm impressed. You did hit me and I'm not impressed. I'm 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 just an idiot there. Okay, I'm hemorrhaging. 99 bombs. Totally worth it. Oh my god. I've never sneezed that much in my life. That's actually a lie. I've sneezed way too much in my life. And I do get that question a lot. Where you're like, why don't you go see an allergist? I'm like, because I'm afraid. For starters, I'm afraid of medical professionals. And secondly... They do actually make you swallow, like, a thousand pills. It's like, well, you're allergic to dust. It looks like you're just gonna have to eat 400 doses of this shit for the next 13 years of your life. Until hopefully your body adapts to it, or you die of a horrible overdose of sneezing on shit. Like, I'm, I have a very minor... And I do say minor because I don't, like, break out or anything like that. I do have a very minor... It makes me sneeze a shit ton. But I have a very minor, I believe, dust allergy, which I think everybody kind of has. Like a pollen allergy, dust allergy, stuff and shit like that. But my sneezes are so absolutely vicious. It just sucks. It just sucks. Amnesia doesn't affect us here. Any hey, bitch. Lampicle. Where's Krampus's lamp? Can we get Krampus's lamp item? Why doesn't Krampus have more items? Like, here's the thing. And I've had this conversation so many times. I talked about it in the Antibirth series. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in the Antibirth Plus series a billion times. I do like the word billion, by the way. I, if you're gonna if you're gonna buff Krampus, and they did buff Krampus quite a few times, if you're gonna buff Krampus, give him more items. Cause honestly, like Lump of Coal is the only reason people go to him. No one gives a shit about Krampus's head. If you like Krampus's head, you're not a friend of mine. It's a garbage item. It's a garbage item for garbage players. Even when it was a three room charge, I still didn't like it. That's no guppy, man. You can't just give him more items. I'm like, Krampus has a, a thousand stories of mythos behind him. Just give him give him Krampus's lamp, Krampus's horn. Like, if you, if you beat him in under, you know, ten seconds, he drops a trinket. You know, called Krampus's horn, which 
gives you a plus one damage. I don't, I don't, maybe there's, a, there's so many ideas you could come up with. Maybe that's why they have the mods. Maybe I have to convince one of my modder friends to create a Krampus' Horn Trinket, which is like a somewhat decent, mm, somewhat decent curved horn. I don't know what hit him there, but he did die. I'm happy about that. I don't know, guys. Sometimes I feel like I just have too many ideas for this game, and none of them are gonna work in the game. Because it's, you can you can have ideas all you want, but unless the game actually like accepts it as an idea, it's not gonna do anything. I just walk right on into the fucking eyeball. Okay, that was unintentional. That was unintentional as all hell. Holy shit, I may actually die. Never mind, we're fine. Never mind, we're actually like completely 100% fine. We've never been more fine. We've never been more fine. Like, rip Horror of Babylon, but honestly, we don't need Horror of Babylon. And that's where Arden Jesus saves my ass. Because it kind of did there. We are, we are beyond fine. Well, I mean, I'm still kind of a dumbass for taking that damage. Holy shit, be a bit more careful. You can't rely- Oh my god, I have flight. I forgot we just picked up the goddamn fate. The goddamn fate? It always feels weird having max tier rate from the beginning of the run, almost. Because you're like, oh man, I'm just never gonna fire faster than this, am I? This is- this is- this is peak awesomeness. This is just what it, this is just what happens. Poor little Gemini. Last we'll see of him. And yes, I was saving the sun card for the cathedral, and by cathedral, of course, I didn't mean cathedral. I meant the, uh, the woo chest. Not the womb, the chest. We're doing not as much damage as I'd like to be doing, but that's okay. I was really hoping this run was going to be a bit of a shorter one because I do have to work in the morning and I decided to start recording very late for some odd reason. I have no idea why. I don't know where my brain, my thought process was there. Oh, I can, I can squeeze in an episode. This is no problem. It's 25 minutes. That's actually like perfectly fine because it's not even 11 o'clock yet. I normally go to bed at like 11.30 and then I wake up at 4.30. All right, here we go. Eh, well, I mean, I was going to say in the continuing trend of everything in the game hates me when it comes to items on the chest, but I can't complain about a 120 volt. I mean, I can complain about anything. I'm pentahybrid. I can complain about literally anything. This item sucks. I can't believe they only gave me 120 volt. They could have given me, like, 120 volt and fucking brimstone. I don't even like anything in this fucking... I, yeah, I can, Whatever. Y'all know. Oh, the fear. The feared Monstro 2s. Never fun. Never, never fun. Thank you, Relic. 
All right, so this was a bit of a risky little biscuit at the end there, but we are above and beyond fine. There's no worries at all about the run. We're going to be moving on to 47 wins in a row, marching very strongly, I might as, might, might as well say, marching very, very strongly onto 50 wins in a row, which I got to say is huge. That's actually insane. That we're marching towards 50 wins. 50 wins. Fifty Eden runs in a row. And granted, we had a lot of early luck. Our first probably like I'd say 20 were very strong. Had a couple of weaker runs in the middle there. And then, you know, a couple more really strong ones, a couple weaker ones, blah blah blah. And then we had a couple of very stupidly risky, almost, almost losses. Had a couple of near throws. But we played very well so far. And, uh... I'm just not letting this game take me, man. This game cannot defeat me. When I'm hungry for this, this streak, Isaac cannot de defeat me. And I had the hiccups. He's a little Mr. Mega Boy there. I'm actually gonna throw my own bombs in, but I'm an idiot and I missed because I have spectral. Obviously, DDL doing some serious work for us on this run. I will not deny DDL again, just being a huge player for us. Okay, do not actually lose though, Penta. Do not get this far and lose because you're an idiot. How many runs in a row do we have to get fucking down to one heart against the goddamn blue baby? How many runs do I have to get down to one heart on the blue baby? I seem to play very well when I'm at one heart on the blue baby. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you the video. Of course, you didn't know what to do down below. My name is Penta, and I will catch you in the next run for hopefully 48 in a row. Three more runs. Two more runs. 48, 49, 50. Three more runs. I can do math. And we'll have 50 in a row. LGBT, the run. Let's go.